Alright, ready? Always. Nation started digging and landed on Drake's MySpace, where he found a fluid mix of rap and R&B, the melding of Kanye West and Lil Brother. He liked what he heard. Ready, Jeff? Yeah. Not Right wasn't intended for dudes like Drake. It was underground, mean, and dirty. SK treated Drake like a fan, on some go-that-way shit. But in Nation, he found someone who got him. Nice. Jeff again. Okay. All right. Okay, Jeff, good luck. Here you go. Yep. The day before Valentine's 2009, Drake dropped So Far Gone, an ambitious project that showcased him at his most fully formed. The hype was so big that it crashed the servers of two dope boys, whose audience was nearly as big as Nah Wright's. Drake's profile rose. His songs found mainstream love on the radio. He sold out SOBs in New York City and sparked a bidding war between the major labels. Drake put in countless hours with his creative partners, refining a specific sound that would alter the way a generation expressed themselves in song and Instagram caption. In getting there, he jumped through a million hoops to be sure. But without the constant support inside the not right organization from a guy like Nation, it's hard to imagine what the early journey would have looked like. And it's no surprise that eventually, the Narite commenters would come to soften their stance. Great. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say, Greg? What did I say? What did you say? Good luck. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he meant it, like, meant it sincerely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I wasn't like, good luck. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what you said. And by the way, Greg? Yeah. You're on video. Wow. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Bring it back. Yeah. I stand by exactly my, my read. <laughs> Which was genuine. Jeff has a line, a one-liner, and he's gonna repeat that one line. Sell it, Jeff. Sell it, Jeff. Good luck, Jeff! <laughs>